All right, the markets continue to grind higher on this first trading session of October. Jeff Kravitz from U.S. Bank is here. Jeff, we're still sort of in this transition period as we wait for some of the bigger earnings reports next week. But how do you view the markets right now? Right now, we're very constructive on the markets. I mean, we have a good story. We've got earnings, which continues to improve. We've got a global synchronized recovery. We've got um, low inflation, low unemployment, and growth is starting to pick up. So it's, it's a good story, and we believe that's going to continue for the rest of the year. So we're at 2519 in the S&P 500. Uh -huh. Where do you see the benchmark heading by the end of the year? Our year-end target is 2550, mm -hmm. so we're not far away from there. Um, we do believe that markets will end the year higher. You know, that being said, we're not immune to some of the risks that are out there, some of those geopolitical risks, risk in Washington. Also, valuation is high, but you've got the earnings to support it. So we really do believe that markets can trend higher despite a possible near-term sell-off. Why didn't we have a down September? That's usually the worst month of the year for stocks. And does that correction that, we're, that you just mentioned, does that come in October? Yeah, that's a good point that you bring up. There's that seasonal factor. You know, September and October are traditionally very bad months for the stock market, or can be. But, you know, there's a lot of liquidity out there looking for a home. And stocks are really the favorite destination, especially here in the U.S., um, just because companies are doing quite well, the consumer's strong. And, you know, investors are looking to put money to work. And they like the U.S. Uh, mm -hmm. despite the valuations. And well, you also like international stocks just yeah. on a valuation basis. We do like international stocks. You know, on a relative valuation basis, um, you know, you look at Europe, and Europe is definitely attractive. Um, those um, companies are doing quite well. Uh, I saw manufacturing PMI in Europe is picking up. Um, so that is uh, a place that we've put money. Also, you've had the U.S. dollar which has been a tailwind. I mean, you've got the euro up about 12% this year, so that's really helped. Isn't that a risk, though, the rising euro for European stocks? It is a risk. You know, the higher um, the euro goes up, the more pressure it puts on exports. And to this date, it really hasn't impacted um, that to any great extent. But it is a near risk that, that we're concerned about. So to sum up, when, you, when yeah. you see reports that September was the lowest volatility we've seen on record for a September, yeah. even though it was supposed to be this really worrisome yeah. month, how does that make you feel? Because anytime we see low volatility, you have people start sounding the alarm. You know, that could be a caution flag. Um, I think there is a lot of complacency out there, uh, despite the positive story. And it might just take a, a catalyst, uh, some geopolitical event, to kind of knock investors off, off their pedestal and say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull back a bit. But I think, you know, fundamentally, they're looking, looking for, for a strong finish to the year. All right. Well, watch how it plays out. Jeff Kravitz, thanks so much yeah. for joining us. Great. Thank you.